this quickly became one of the most popular and contested spawns. My name is Goody and this video is for Wire Hyenas. This spawn introduced in the Summer Update 2020 has been a popular recommendation for solo hunting since then. Even some lower level teams go there as well, making it highly contested across all vocations. So you might struggle to find it available depending on your server. And despite this place being a continuation to the Greenbelt quest, it is not necessary to do any missions for hunting here. But I do recommend to work on the quest at some point, since that will unlock access to the Lion Sanctum later on. Now to get to this spawn, head north of Darash's bank and you will find the entrance. You will only need a shovel to get in. The spawn has two floors, the first one by the entrance is usually taken by low level paladins hunting one by one. Head southwest into the second floor which is the main area. This is big enough to be shared and usually gets a split between the north and south areas. I have tested both of them and the south area, despite it being much bigger, is just slightly better. Keep in mind, this is with a level 250, so higher levels might do much better on the south lap since it's harder to overkill there. But the north lap is smaller and it is possible to overkill at some point. Now let's break down each area. For the north lap, you want to do 8 pulls on this floor and going up to the small cave here and there you will do 2 big pulls. But be careful in general to not surround yourself at this level. You want to damage the monsters before that happens so that they will die before you get bugs. Their damage is very high and I recommend to try and do 6 at a time. For example, when going up the hall, I lure the monsters nearby to the north while attacking them with the spells. So by the time I get to the main pool, they are already low HP or dead. You can see me do the same for the south pool. Even though I am getting 8 monsters or more, they are usually dead before I get surrounded. This is a form of kiting that I highly recommend to work on. Now when continuing the lap, I sometimes will go up to the entrance area and do one pull there. That is helpful to include if you feel like you are overkilling. And since it is quick to set up, it doesn't affect your hunt. Then after that, going down to the next pull, this one you gotta be careful with since it has the most amount of creatures. For this one, I do it in two parts. After that, continue the lap and repeat. Hunting like this on a level 256 with the skills 126, I was doing around 2.1kk raw XP with over 350k of profit the hour. And on my new server character, level 244, skills 100, I was doing around 1.7kk raw XP with around the same profit per hour. Keep in mind, I was hunting a bit slower on that EK, and I was also saving up money by healing myself with great health potions. And even though it was doable, for the most part, I would get close to dying a few times and did end up dying once. So I recommend to use ultimate health and sun supremes when necessary. With that said, I do think my XP could have been a bit higher to maybe 1.8 or 1.9kk raw XP. Now, before I move on to the south area, I want to point out something you guys might be thinking. Yes, I am using a destruction weapon on both characters. For one, on the new server I didn't have access to a resizer at the time. And for the other one, I wanted to try with a destruction first. The reason I'm pointing this out is that where hyenas are weak to ice by 20%. However, I did try using a winter blade with life and crit imbuements, which is what I had available to me. Personally, I would prefer to use life and mana leech when solo hunting. But regardless, using the winter blade didn't have any noticeable improvements. If anything, it made me struggle more since I didn't have enough mana leech to properly do the pulls. Experience and profit wise were basically the same, but keep in mind I tried this on the north lap, so use whatever you have available to you. For most solo hunts, the two handed destruction weapons will be better since you have three immune slots. Now moving on to the south lap, this one is more straightforward since you don't have to go upstairs. Although there is one cave by the middle, I didn't include that on the lap. The way I was hunting was doing a lap across 14 pools. Since this lap has some bigger rooms with more than 8 monsters, I was breaking this down in two parts. I also avoided going to the northeast even though it is part of the south lap. I had people passing by and killing the monsters there when recording and honestly I didn't even feel like I needed those pulls, so I wasn't doing that or going up in the middle cave, but a higher level might need to include some of those extra pulls. Hunting like this on my new server EK, I was doing around 1.7kk raw XP, although I did have to make smaller pulls in general, and on the high skills EK, I was doing over 2.1kk raw XP, which is pretty much the same for both characters on both laps. I do think I could have reached 2.2kk or a bit more, but like I said, a few people did come by and kill some monsters when making this recording, but even then, I believe that both labs are very close in XP and profit. 
and if given the choice, I will go for the south, but if that's taken, I gladly will stay on the north lap. And that's pretty much all I can tell you for this spawn. 200 destruction weapons or a ice elemental weapon is not a big enough difference. If anything, it might make the experience lower if you do go for a nice weapon with life and mana leech. But at the same time, the hunt will feel safer since the leeches will be higher. And when it comes to choosing which side to hunt, unless you are level 400 or so, they both should be pretty much the same. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Tuna Hero, Tortoise Slasher, and Nightstar for supporting the channel.